All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to hook up a standard K-type thermocouple and interface it with an Arduino microcontroller. And with the intention of this, um, I wanna be using it as some sort of exhaust gas temperature probe for a vehicle. Um, I haven't really seen too many videos of this being done um, on YouTube, so I wanted to make a short video and show you that it's really simple and cheap compared to just buying a exhaust gas temperature gauge uh, kit online. <clears throat> and you can really do it easily yourself by using some standard parts that you can find on Amazon and using an Arduino uh, microcontroller. So really, it comes down to this. This is a thermocouple, a uh, K-type thermocouple. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, when I bought it, it was literally $15, so super cheap. Um, you could easily put one on each cylinder and interface it to a micro microcontroller if you wanted to get down into this, you know, each cylinder temperatures and stuff like that. <clears throat> so it's pretty cool, pretty cool to use. Um, what, what I'm going to be doing is putting this on my um, six cylinder diesel and I'll just put it right on on the exhaust manifold right at the uh, the outlet port that goes just before and in, into the exhaust turbine of the turbo. And then I'll be able to measure those those temperatures coming out and you know you can you can make it read out or output uh, celsius or fahrenheit and then what you need is so this is the other end of the the thermocouple these little breakout boards <clears throat> since a thermocouple and um, kind of how it works is it it measures the voltage difference between two different uh, types of metal so you need some sort of amplifying circuit so this is this is a small circuit board that takes care of all that amp amplification and then uh, makes it easy to to output and interface with uh, the Arduino. So you, all you need really is is the five volts, a ground, and then there's three digital pins um, that you hook up to your Arduino. So this literally just goes into this terminal block from the thermocouple and then you have the few pins here that I've just got mounted on this prototype board for now, but this is the a small module that you can purchase uh, standalone and then you can mount it wherever you want and, and hook it up to your microcontroller and interface it how you want to. So on the back side here, I got one wire that's fallen off, but there's there's five wires here that uh, that you can interface with your micro microcontroller and then set up. Uh, there's a simple example code um, for this is the MAX31855. There's also another type of breakout board, but I think this is the this is the newer one, um, and Adafruit has a good example code of of how to to use it and output some values. So I'll show you that. Okay, so I just want to explain the wiring setup real quick. So there's six pins on here, um, but the first pin V in, I'm I'm gonna hook up to five volts on the Arduino. The three volt pin, I, I suppose you could use the three volt pin on this uh, module as well, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna use the five volt. So that one doesn't get hooked up to the Arduino at all. It doesn't get hooked up to anything. The ground just goes straight to the ground on the Arduino. The D0 or DO or D0 pin, I'm not really sure, um, goes to, so in the code, you're specifying pins three, four, and five for D0, CS, and clock pins on here. And those can be changed to whatever you want um, digital pin wise on here. Um, it's just a communication interface over uh, SPI, I believe, SPI, I believe it is, uh, for the communication bus, uh, just to, to interface those values to the, to the microcontroller. So it's super simple. So you just take those pins, interface them here, make sure in the code it's referenced to the correct digital pin uh, that you want it to be off of this. Okay, so I'm just going to run through the example code here. Like I said, this one, this example is off of the Adafruit website. So all you have to do is, is go um, I'll link their, their uh, example code in the description box below so you can take a look at it. But there's two separate libraries that you need to go and install uh, to make sure that the breakout board and, breakout board and example code work. Um, I believe one of them is the Adafruit Max 31A55 library. So you have to just come in, download that one. So I've already got that installed. And then there is one more... Um, library that you have to install I think it's just the it's a general like sensor library Let's see if I can find it Adafruit so 
I think it's called, no, not the BME 280. There we go. Here, I'll just come to installed. So Adafruit Unified Sensor. So you need this as uh, a part of their example code. So once you have those two libraries installed, then you can upload this code to the Arduino. So you define your uh, your digital pins here. Like I said, these are the ones that you can change to any digital pin that you want on your Arduino. And then coming down here, you initialize you initialize the uh, the breakout board, and essentially you're just you're reading off of of that breakout board, and it does it. Uh, this library has the internal. Uh, calculations to to output some readable value to the human eye, either in Celsius or Fahrenheit. So you can uncomment um, the Fahrenheit if you want it in Fahrenheit down here, or or just keep it in Celsius. So I've changed a couple of small things. I want the delay to be 100 milliseconds instead of 1,000, and then I also commented out this internal temp just so I get something that's easily readable on the serial monitor. So now I've got this coming down and I'll show you in a second I've got a butane lighter here that I can um, just put underneath the thermocouple so I'll show you I'll show you on the camera after but right now um, I'll take this butane lighter hopefully all my wires are still connected and I'll just I'll light it up here yeah so my wire might yeah there we go so I've got my butane lighter underneath the thermocouple, and these thermocouples are super industrial, which is great because I can I can get this thermocouple up to like 1,200 degrees Celsius, which is like over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So it really works well for exhaust gas temperatures in a vehicle, right? So I've already got this up to 400, almost 500 degrees Celsius. I was playing around with it earlier, and I got it up to over 700 degrees Celsius, which is more than enough for uh, monitoring exhaust, exhaust gas temperatures in a diesel truck. Uh, because I think they say the max safe values for exhaust gas temperatures in a diesel truck is probably around uh, 12 or 1300 Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit maximum. So the end, of the end of this thermocouple is getting a bit orange, and I'll show that on the camera in a second. So you can really get it up. Um, quite high of a temperature and as you can see the the temperatures are really responsive so um, in order to if you wanted to make this like your own gauge really at this point all you would need to do is get an LCD or an OLED screen and then just print these values to that screen and, and it, it wouldn't be super complicated to do um, and, and you know comparing price price point of a uh, exhaust gas temperature gauge kit that's probably in the range of at least a hundred dollars for you know the sensor the kit or the the gauge face and all that it's it's got to be at least over a hundred dollars and this is you know with parts that I had laying around in the thermocouple maybe forty fifty dollars max so it's it's a really good deal and you also understand how things work and then you can set it up how you want in the code so I'll show you this uh, with the butane lighter here. Okay, so I have my uh, thermocouple and butane lighter here, and I've got the screen recording going now, so I, I can show you as I get my butane lighter going underneath the sensor, it'll change temperatures. So we'll see how high we can get it. Like I said before, I got it up to about 700 degrees Celsius before, and you'll see as it gets hotter, it'll start to turn red at the end of the thermocouple. Which is pretty crazy because that's, I mean, this is super hot temperature. So you can put this in any sort of industrial environment that you can think of that you want to monitor temperature, right? I'm not sure about, I'd have to look into it, but I'm not sure about how it would work in high temperature environments where there's maybe like a high moisture content or where there's some fluid involved. But I mean, these are pretty robust sensors, as you can see, like 700 degrees Celsius and the sensor is still reading values. I mean, that's 
That's pretty cool. So on the computer, I'm up to 680 degrees Celsius. And as you can see, this is getting red, 720. My finger's starting to get hot. So we're pretty constant at about 720 degrees Celsius. And then of course, as I take the butane lighter off, the temperature is starting to fall. All right, so I thought I'd just show that quick example to you guys and, and give you a quick overview of how you can interface a K-type thermocouple using that breakout board with an Arduino. Uh, it's pretty effective and it's pretty pretty handy to have as a tool. Uh, this is this whole breakout uh, or sorry prototype board and uh, you know all these other modules and and, and sensors are. Part of a larger project that I'm working on so please uh, stay tuned for some more videos in the future where um, I'm going to go over this board more in detail uh, it's, it's a larger project for my truck where I'm interfacing a number of analog sensors and I want to monitor all of those analog sensors and display them onto OLED screens so stay tuned for some more updates and progress videos in the future thanks for watching cheers